Welcome, I'm Josh with Bass Buzz. I'm gonna show you some fun beginner bass riffs that you don't stand a chance of f***ing up. And I'm gonna show you some bass essentials while we do it, so you walk away with more than just cool riffs. Let's start with the tune that'll get you grooving with the drums and keeping your note lengths tight. The intro to Psycho Killer is a great beginner bass riff because you instantly know what song it is, but it's still easy to play. Thanks, Tina Weymouth! I'm gonna start by teaching you the rhythm and the plucking pattern, and then we'll add in the notes later so you don't have to think about too much at once. So here's the rhythm, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. Let's try playing that together on the open E string, so rest your thumb on the pickup, and then use whatever plucking pattern you feel comfortable with, and let's try that together, nice and slow. One, two, here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One more time. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and stop there. Nice, now let's add in the fretting hand. We're gonna start with the pinky on the fifth fret of the E string. We're gonna pluck that a number of times, and then go to the open E string, and then grab that third fret with our index finger. So the whole line is just pinky, 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 pinky open index. Let's try that super, super slow, just you and me, and then we'll bring in the band. So here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, and three, four. One, two, three, and four. One more time. One, and two, three and four and one and two and three and four and finish on the fifth fret. To get this to sound exactly the way I'm playing it, you need to release your fretting fingers in between plucks on that fifth fret note to make them shorter. So here's what that looks and sounds like. If I just keep holding all the way through the line, it sounds like this. Da, 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 da. But we want this. Hear that lift? So the way I do that is after each pluck, I just let go of the pressure with my fretting finger, but I keep touching the string, otherwise it'll start ringing like this every time I let go, and you don't want that. So I switch from pressing to resting. Press, rest, press, rest, press, rest. So you can try that out if you want to while we play along with the band, with the slow play along. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Nice. So, because the rhythm of this bass line has us playing on every single beat of the song, it's a really good chance to make sure that you're locking in with the drummer and the rest of the band and playing all your rhythms at the right time. So, if you have a little extra space in your ears, try to open them up and make sure you're listening to the band and see if your plucks are landing in a place that feels good. Okay, here we go with the full speed play along. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four.
Nice. If you're digging the step-by-step play-along style of this lesson, you will also dig clicking subscribe and then clicking the bell so that you get notified when new lessons come out. Let's move on to our next beginner bass riff where you will tighten up your plucking and learn how to chug. We're going to play Mike Dernst's bass line from the chorus of 21 Guns. First, let's make sure you've got your alternating plucking happening. So we're going to rest our thumb on the pickup and we're going to pluck index middle on the open E string with the first rhythm we encounter in this chorus, which is just one and two, three and four. So pluck, pluck, rest, pluck, pluck, rest. Let's do that together on the open E string. Make sure you're going index middle every time. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four. One, and two, and three, and four, and index middle rest, and index middle rest. One, and two, and three, and four. Finish on one more pluck. The other rhythm we play is straight eighth notes all the way through the bar, which is called chugging, and it happens in a million songs. One and two and three and four, and just move around to root notes. It happens so often. So let's do that together. Again, alternating index middle. We'll just do a couple bars of this to make sure that you're comfortable with your alternating. Here we go. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and index middle index middle pulling across not up and away from the bass one and two and three and four and stop on one great okay let's add the notes in now that we've got the rhythms nailed we'll start with our index finger on the first fret of the e string for two plucks then we're gonna shift up to pinky on the seventh fret of the A string for two plucks. Stay in that position and put your index finger on the fifth fret of the A string. Then we're gonna shift our hand back down, get our pinky on that third fret note for four plucks. And then index finger on the first fret of the A string for four plucks to index on the first fret of the E string. And I'll talk about that move in a second. And then we finish with pinky on the third fret of the A string. So all together that's index, pinky, Index, pinky, index, index, pinky, and then we're back to the top. So the trick with those two first fret notes in the second half is to do a finger roll. So I'm using back on the knuckle of my index finger to get the first fret of the A string. And then when I want to switch to the E string, I can just move the pressure over closer to the tip of my finger. And that way I can do this without having to jump my fingertip back and forth. If you don't already know how to do a finger roll, you can just jump your finger. It just tends to be a little bit sloppier that way, but that's the finger roll trick if you wanna do that. Let's try that in rhythm, just you and me, super slow, and then we'll bring in the band. Here we go, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two shift three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four one more time in dex rest and pinky rest and index rest shift pinky four and index two and index four and pinky two two and three and four finish on the starting note great let's try a slowed down version of that now with the band here we go one two three four one and two and three and four and 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 index.
Cool. So to make sure that those rests in between notes are really rests, you can use a similar trick to what we did on Psycho Killer to keep our notes short. So we pluck our first two notes, and then I want to make sure that I'm touching the neck with my fingers somehow, otherwise it's going to sound like this. I'm going to hear ringing strings after I finish my notes. So I go pluck, pluck, touch the strings, but don't press as I shift. Pluck, pluck, still touching, pluck, pluck, still touching, just not pressing. And then once you get to the chugging in the second half, you don't have to worry about that because all of our notes are nice and long. Okay, let's try that together with the full speed play along. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and index. Pinky, index. Pinky, index, index, pinky. Nice work. Let's move on to our final riff, which will help you with your epic bass slides. Alright, this is a fun one because there are actually two bass parts, a low upright bass and a higher electric bass, both played by Herbie Flowers, Session Legend. I'm going to show you both parts because they both have awesome bass slides and this way you can play a bass duet with a friend sometime. Let's start with the low part. It's just two notes and we can play them both with our index finger. So index finger on the 8th fret of the E string and then we're going to slide down to the 1st fret of the E string. To get that slide sound, all you got to do is keep the pressure on with your fretting finger as you move to the first fret. And then same thing coming back up, first fret to eighth. So if you keep the pressure on, then you'll hear that sliding sound. Let's try that together with a slowed down version of the track. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Slide one, two, three, slide one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, so you may have gotten lost on some of your slides and ended up in the wrong place. I'm gonna show you how to fix that right now. The trick is to move your eyes before you move your fingers. So we're on the eighth fret. You're probably looking at the eighth fret because you wanted to get your finger there. But now you wanna move your eyes to the first fret, which is where you want to be before the slide happens. Then when it's time for the slide, you just move your finger to where your eyes already are. And then. Before it's time to get back to the 8th fret, I move my eyes to the 8th fret, so I'm looking here, even though my finger's here, and then when it's time to slide, I just put my finger right where my eyes already are. If your eyes aren't ahead of your fingers, crazy stuff's gonna happen, so keep your eyes on your target destination a beat or so before the slide starts and you won't get lost. Okay, let's try that together with the full speed play along. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. So I move my eyes now, and then shift, and then move my eyes again. Move my eyes. Move my eyes. Okay, it's time for the high part. Put your index finger on the ninth fret of the G string, then we're gonna slide up to the 14th fret on that same finger, and then put the pinky on the 17th fret note, and then that'll slide down and switch to the index back on the ninth fret. So this slide technique's a little bit different because you're switching from the pinky to the index, but it doesn't really matter. There'll be a little gap in your slide from about here to here when you just switch fingers. 
but you can't really hear that in context. So it doesn't matter. Don't worry about it. Just go pinky, index, 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 pinky, index. Let's try that together with a slowed down version of the track. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Index goes to index. And remember to look ahead for your slides. Look ahead. Look back at the ninth fret. Look up to the 14th. Nice. So if you're hearing any low strings ringing while you're playing this, since it's all on the G string, anchor your thumb on the A string and then angle it so that you're also touching the E string. That'll mute both of those strings. And then your plucks should mute the D string automatically if you're pulling across and not up, and that covers all your strings. Okay, let's try this together at the full speed. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 Remember to look ahead. Nice work! Click subscribe and then click the bell if you want to know when new lessons come out. And now you've got three beginner bass riffs under your belt and you know how to alternating pluck and how to chug, how to keep your notes short, how to keep from getting lost when you're sliding. This is all really useful stuff for your bass tool bag. And I'm curious what your favorite beginner bass riff is to play, so let me know in the comments below and I'll see you next time. Whoa, 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 you're not ready to leave yet. First, you need to click over here and subscribe to get all the latest free bass lessons coming at ya. And you can also click on the video preview over there if you're ready for another one of said bass lessons right now. Party on, Wayne.